today we will discuss array in EG drive. Uh, first we have this input file and in this from the first column to fourth we have student ID and then from the like fifth column to uh, 19 or 15 byte we have student name and then from the 20th column to uh, 53rd column we have the subject info subject info and uh, or you can say it is the array data subject array data so you can see here science from here science is the 10 byte then we have the 3 byte marks like uh, Tom got the 39 marks in the science then he got in the math 67 marks and then he got in the SSC 46 marks okay similarly you can check for the second record also okay uh, so let's uh, see how we have defined this file in the EG tree so here you can see we have used the student file and under the student file we have the student ID which is starting from the first column of 4 byte then we have declared defined the name student name of like it is starting from the fifth column of 15 byte then we have the subject info which is starting from the 20th column and it has 39 byte then we are defining the array and uh, here first you can see uh, the working storage variable subject table of 39 byte and then we are re we are redefining this subject table with the subject data or subject data data is the our array and here the subject table okay and it has the 13 byte but with the occurrence of 3 and under this subject data we are defining the we are defining the subject name of 10 byte we, okay and then we are defining marks of 3 byte okay after 10 byte we have 3 byte okay and here our array end and after this we have defined the subscript variable w hyphen sub then from here job input student we got the first record first record of the file okay and here it is displaying the student id okay so displaying student id then student name so let's go in school and see so first it has display display the 1001 student id then tom you can see tom and after this what happening subject info uh, we have passed the subject info in the subject table okay subject whatever like we have the info here the info data this is the subject info this we have passed inside the subject table and then we have set the subscript variable to 1 and then we went into the array loop here we have display the subject name okay here it is the one here also one then it will display subject name and marks so here you can see then we have this science then we then we have the 039 marks and after this it is checking like uh, subscript is less than 3 yes first it has the 3 1 so then it will increase y1 and here it will be 2 and then it will again go to the array loop here okay and here it will it will display the subject name and marks for the second cell so here you can see then we have the maths then we have the zero marks 067 after that here you got 2 then it will check 2 less than 3 yes then it will increase uh, subscript by 1 and it will become 3 and then again it will go to the array loop and it will display the subject name and the marks for third subscript also you can see ssc and marks also 046 and after this here you got 3 so it will check 3 less than 3 so it is not true then it will come out of this end deep and it, it will come here go to job so here con our control will go again in on the job statement then here it will read the second record of the file second record of the file 
and this is the secondary code so similar similar process will happen for the secondary code also you will get the first uh, like you will get student id and then student name student id and then zone name and then the subject name with the marks okay so this is the subscript array in the redefine okay so if if you have not given the subscript in the parenthesis of the array variable then what will happen for example if you have not given the this subscript variable w hyphen sub w hyphen sub okay then what will happen like here we have not given in this case but in this case we have given but here not in this case so in this case you can see science and 039 marks will print multiple time okay so it will take by default first subscript only here also in second record also you can see it will display the first cell of the data only okay and next we have the subscript array so in this array you can see we have directly given the occur here and we have defined this array only of 13 byte with the occurrence of 3 and then here array and then we have the subject data working story variable of 13 byte and then under this we have defined the subject name and the marks like uh, marks is the 33 byte and uh, name uh, subject name is of 10 byte then we have declared the subscript here and uh, and here then we we are displaying the student id then student name and uh, the, here we set this subject subscript to one okay subscript to one and uh, then here you can see here after this we have given this subject info in the loop here with the subscript so that our data pass into the subject data okay and then we have printed the subject name and the marks okay and then sim similar process will check like it was for the first subscript then it will check for like first subscript less than three yes then it will increase it by one and like it will have the one value then it will become two and then it will again go to the array loop here and here then it our subscript is two second subscript data will move to the subject data and then it will print the subject name and the marks and then it will check two less than three yes then it will increase the subscript by one it will become three and then again it will go to the array loop and here it will pass the data subject info for the third subscript here in the subject data and then it will print the subject name and the marks and then it will check three less than three so it is false then it will come out of this if if condition and then it will come here go to job and then it will here read the second record now it will read the second record so it will continue like that and now we have the index array in case of index array we have just given the index id x1 okay and uh, and we have here subject data and under this we have subject name and the marks then we have defined the variable entry variable which we have set to one and here is the job input a student so it here it will read the first record first record okay and then it will display the student id student name and entry is set to one and it then it will go into the array loop here it will go check one minus one zero so idx one value idx one value will be zero in first case then it will directly move the subject info this subject info to the subject data okay here and then it will print the subject name and the marks and then it will check entry entry is our one 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 is less than three then it will increase uh, entry y1 and it will become two and then it will again go to array loop and but this time we have the entry two so we will get the two minus one into 13 so it will become 13 okay so we have the address of 13 here and then here it will move the data of the subject input through the subject data and it will print the 
uh, next cell data like subject name and the marks then here entry is now 2 okay so 2 is less than 3 yes then it will increase it by 1 and it will become 3 then it will again go to the array loop here then here what will happen here entry is our this time 3 minus 1 into 13 so it will become 3 uh, to 26 so for the 26 it will move the uh, subject input to the subject data and then we, it will display the subject name and the marks and then here you will get the 3 3 less than 3 so it is false then it will come out of this if condition and then it will go to the job and it will read the secondary code and process will be continuing like this but here you 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 have you think why we have given 13 here because our array array sub array, array cell length is the 13 so we have given here 13 and uh, then it it will be like continue for second record okay so this is the index array we have given index and then what is difference between subscript and the and the index here you can see in the uh, subscript array we have given the subscript in the parenthesis but in case of index we we don't we have not given the idx in the parenthesis so it understand it automatically here you can see in this subject info array we have not given this uh, index but in case in case of subscript okay in case of like uh, subscript array we have to give the subscript array here in case of subscript array we have to declare the subscript like you can see here we have declared the subscript variable okay w hyphen sub working storage variable of two byte but in case of index array you can see we have no declare the index variable idx1 okay so here we need to declare the subscript variable but we don't need to uh, declare the index variable thank you everyone that's all from my side please like the video and subscribe the channel